passes by good morning everyone today my face might look little bit sleepy maybe even my words might sound that way i had just like 4 hours of sleep yesterday night so you just have to bear with me for this video so let's get started so in the month of march or february i'm not sure when but there was like not much panic in canada there are just few cases here and there maybe in ontario and bc i thought that bc might be an epicenter in canada but luckily as the days passed by it came out to be the one of the lowest number of cases in canada so when the government announced emergency i think i was not going to work for that week and i was continuously checking the oldometer website for number of cases and that time they used to update a lot and i was so panicked because i used to watch that site for numbers for every one hour and it keep it kept me thinking a lot even in my dreams i used to get some thoughts regarding the coronavirus and and one week later i started to work and that time i was busy with the work and university stuff so i didn't had time to watch or watch the numbers so i forgot completely currently i'm not working because i recently had to transfer to a different store and i even have the project to complete so i just want to complete as early as possible so i just ask them not to give shifts for three more weeks yeah so technically th this month i may not work and luckily government has announced the canada emergency fund i can link the page in the description box below if you want to know the details or eligibility yeah i am getting that i'm not sure whether they are going to ask me in the future or not but right now that's helping me a lot i work at walmart and i don't need to be worried of getting laid off because all my friends who are working in the university and any of the food courts they got laid off but yeah luckily they are getting ei or cert most long for a place that they never find i'm afraid i wake up when i die and it is too late to climb any mountain time is up the ashes the blood running through our core it's best to not feel sorry when it's over I would like to add few more points. So when you're leaving your home, expect the worst. You never know what's going to happen in life. So don't expect everything goes smoothly. For me, now I'm not experiencing anything from the COVID-19. I don't have any issues. But it's not going to be same for everyone. So just expect the worst and keep in mind that you will face it. You might be in a lot of situations where you might feel there is no way out of it. but yeah you will find a way eventually it happens to everyone and that's what you learn when you come here i am using this opportunity to challenge myself it may be in physical fitness health food whatever so find your challenges and achieve them next goals would be right now i'm working out like 3 days a week so i'm taking a break every 3 days i decided to utilize the fourth day to make a video you can expect a video in every 4 days or maybe 5 if the editing takes time and one more thing university of alberta announced that in the fall semester they'll be continuing with the online classes so in my opinion it doesn't mind whether you're coming here or or you're staying at home because all the classes are made online my suggestion would be to avoid travel just wait and see what happens i'm not sure i know you need to buy tickets and do a lot of preparation but i don't know it depends if if i get the situation i might well stay at home and if you're sure that you'll be safe in your travel then that's fine you can come here find a job if it should be fine i guess when you come here so yeah good luck and all the best to everyone who are coming to canada this fall I'm also using this opportunity to make videos as a morning walk in summers. <laughs> yeah.
it's good in summers in canada people love it and thank you so much for watching the video till then i know there is not much information in this video but yeah i'll make sure next time i'll prepare it before i make it so i think the next video will be going on part time jobs maybe i'll explain how did i get my first job how did i transfer and yeah my journey in with part times yeah thank you so much for watching till then and see you next time and also please educate your parents and make sure they're following all the precaution measures in each and every day it's not like for a month or a year but yeah make sure they're being hygienic thank you